cut it, 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 cut it. Them bricks is way too high, you need to cut it. Your price is way too high, you need to cut it. Cut it, 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 cut it. Them bricks is way too high, you need to cut it. Y'all share this to Team Excitement for me. I'm tapping into my Erica mm -hmm. Badu and Jill Scott in honor of their collab. No, in honor of the this hybrid Afro lock thing I got going on. That's what's what that's what this is in honor of these roots. <laughs> All right, what's going on? Instagram, hey Facebook, hello everyone. It's K-I-M and the S-A-V. Kim out of Savannah, Georgia of BetterBodyCrew.com. And guys, as always, this video was inspired by one of you. So I titled this, How Do You Know When You Need to Cut Somebody Off? Right? And this is not, now I'm going to speak from a business perspective. I think I'm crooked now. I'm going to speak from a business perspective. However, this is in life in general. Okay, the battle for you on one. Sister Victoria, did I make you proud? Did I make you proud? Huh? I'm tap yeah, I'm tapping into my sister V. How about that? But you don't do the up dudes. You do the down dudes, right? Um, but I mean like the head covering. How about that? But um, so guys, uh, and, and I'm talking to you while I'm going to put my new my supplements in my chocolate almond milk. Take my liquid life here. And have y'all been drinking your water for the day? You know, we are accountability partners. So guys, this is in life in general. But I'm going to talk to you about uh, a message that I got today. And let me tell y'all something because some people say, oh, Kim, you know, you do videos about your teammates. Do you ever wonder or do you ever get upset? I think my thing fell. Hold on. Do you ever get upset or think um, that they are going to um, get, do you ever think that they're going to get upset that you're talking about them? And I'm like, what y'all don't understand is that half the time when I do these videos about my team members, first of all, I never say names because it's not to bring shame to anyone. It's a teachable and coachable moment. But on top of that, the thing is, mm -hmm. the people that I'm talking about, half the time, the reason why I have content or anything to say about them is because they're not plugging in. So they'll never see my video anyway. Do you understand that? Right? Have to think about it. Half the time, what I'm talking about is uh, it's about somebody who's not doing what they're supposed to do. So, just, there you go. You know what I'm saying? Now, the second thing, the third thing is, mm, yeah, I just take it to the head. <laughs> I know some of y'all pour it out into the cap. That's so pretty, but I just take it to the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. All right, so. The other thing, guys, is if you were, let's say I did a video about you, and again, I wouldn't say your name, but let's say I did a video about you, and, um, you know, I do think about this stuff. So, I always try to, like I said, share a teachable and coachable moment. So, if I did a video about you, and then you say, you know what, she's right. If you're reading the book, The Four Agreements, and you know that one of the agreements is what? Don't take it personal. If you're on your personal development, then you um, then you know you can't be wrong and strong, right? You can't be wrong and strong. So this is a moment for you to say, you know what? She's right. I could have done that better. But if your ego, which stands, what's up, Dean Malik? But if your ego, which stands for edging God out, if your ego takes over and you want to be wrong and strong, then this isn't the profession for you. So again, if I, if I do a video about somebody and they happen to tap in and they are still adamant that their way is the, the right way and they can't figure out, see my perspective or my point of view or anything, it's, it, it always works out in the wash, guys. Y'all, that's the problem. Y'all worry about too much. It always works out in the wash. So let me tell y'all this. One of my team members recruited somebody who has prior network marketing experience. Now, when you come onto my team, oftentimes I will ask you, do you have prior experience? If people say no, I say great because there's no bad habits for me to break. <laughs> and if people say yes, I say great because you have a foundation that we're working with. Either way, it's great. It's really the truth, right? So my team member recruited somebody and they um, had prior network marketing experience. And so they came in 
and they recruited somebody else and that person has recruited somebody else and 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 there's a little momentum there but here's the thing so when you join my team you're in the big chat you have the big group who is my this my sponsors training group and then i have a huge um wrong and strong kills you every time <laughs> don't say kills me sister victoria but i know what you mean so you have so much support but um you know, there are things that we're going to have that we don't want to discuss with everybody, right? Things that are critical or personal. So you have a private support chat that is formed with your sponsor, myself, and you, where you can talk about things like if you have a death in the family, you know, we're not going to claim that. Um, if you know, just stuff that you don't want to share with the big team. So here's the deal. I'm getting, going to get straight to it. This, this, these, these group of people, what they have done is... Instead of going to the big Facebook training group and plugging into the training, instead of going to the big team chat and conversing um, with you guys, with bonding with the team, the team that you joined, by the way, instead of doing that, what they have chosen to do is use the personal support chat as um, a place where they can just drop questions and then have you answer them. Because for some reason, they think that instead of um, me and their sponsor being sponsors, they think that we're their personal assistants. So once I started to notice this pattern, and I spoke to uh, one of them on the phone, it seemed like a very nice person. Let me be very clear about this. Because a person makes bad decisions, that does not make them a bad person. Okay, let's say that again, class, all together. Because a person, just because a person makes a bad decision, that doesn't make them a bad person. So I'm very good at distinguishing between a person's behavior and the actual person. As a person, do I like these people? Yes. However, do I like their actions? Absolutely not. So what I started to notice is that in the group, when I would ask a question or their sponsor would ask a question, they would not respond. They would just be like, doo, doo, doo. hey, are you getting on training tonight? Doo, doo, doo. Hey, um, could you send me X, Y, Z thing? Doo, doo, doo. And then they would come in and ask a question. And then be like, did y'all see my question? So we have incompatibility here. We have something, something, we have, Houston, we have a problem here, right? You cannot expect to not get out, um, get back what you're putting out. Eventually. I give people, I, you know, I have grace. I extend grace to people because I want people to extend grace to me. However, you only going to do that so many times before I be like, okay. I, I see you. I see you. So I stop answering the support chat because I'm not going to continue to have people not show up to training. And let me tell you guys this, the Pareto principle, the 80-20 rule, the reason why I wanted my team to plug into this is because as you're building a team, I need you to understand this. 80% of people are going to give you 20% of your headaches. Okay, 20% of people are going to give you 80% of your headaches. The people on my team right now that are producing the most, that have the most momentum in their group, the people on my team who are doing the best are the people that I talk to the least. Been working on not asking, not taking things personally. Sandra, you have. It's either I learn from it or I simply think it's a professional person's opinion and hoping to help someone. Lord knows I have fumbled many times. But you know what, Sandra? I, I can't type C more. You know, just the fact that you can get on here and admit that. You don't even know who you, how huge that is. You That's growth. That's all I'm asking for. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know how huge that is. We all make mistakes. We all, we fall down, but we get up. Not everybody, though. Some suckers stand there going, I'm falling and I can't get up. And they want you to drop everything you're doing to come and help them. And you're like, girl, the cane was right by you. The cane was right by you, right? So, anywho, to get to the good part. So, this person um, asked a question recently and... Um, I didn't answer. Neither did their sponsor. So they said, well, I know what I'll do. I'll message Kimberly directly. So they got in the inbox and said, and, and basically repeated their question. And their question, if you're a part of my company, this would make sense to you. If you're not a part of my company, this won't make sense. So I apologize. But I just want to be, you know, I'll go ahead and share. So the person said, hey, um, I put somebody in my holding tank because they sign, they're signing up people. They're signing up new recruits, not doing NAM welcome banner, not, not plugging them into the team, just signing them up, walking them down the plank and pushing them off the edge. Signing them up, walking them down the plank and pushing them off the edge. <laughs> so they got into my inbox and said, um, hey, I signed up somebody, 
last night and my holding tank is on like y'all told me to do because that's one of the first things we tell you to do my holding tank is on like y'all told me to do but i went to place the person this morning and they're not there and i my holding tank is on and so i responded to them and i'm going off the top of my dome but i said um if you were plugged into training you would know why they're not in the holding tank and then they responded and said I don't have time for all these trainings, but no problem. I'll figure it out. Have a great day. I have not responded. I will not respond. Yes, Victoria, you are correct. It's too late. The holding tank is not 24 hours. Now, again, if they were plugged into training, they would know this, right? Right? But they don't have time for all this training because they got too much going on. Now, let me tell you something. They do have a lot going on. And so does everybody in the world. So does everybody in the world. So, let me tell you something. The answer to the question, boys and girls, guys and, guys and gals, is that you cut somebody off when you see that they are disrespectful of your time. That's how you know it. It's very simple. You know how to cut somebody, you, you know when's the right time to cut somebody off? Look, Lisa Davis, Lisa Davis said, oh my God. <laughs> I kind of like heard your voice. Yes, ma'am. They tried it. They tried your girl. Yes, honey. They tried it. But it's not even training. Watch the video. That's at your own convenience. You know what? I'm happy you said that. We're not even talking about plugging into training. You know what we're talking about here? They could have come to the big group and asked one of y'all. The point of the big group with over 100 people, with over 100 people, is the fact that, mm, now is that, who is Chance Smith? Is that, see now th this would be funny. I don't know if that's the right chance. NT who? Here's the deal. It's not even training. You can go to the big group and ask the group. If you can go to the group and say, hey, guys, how does this work? And there's over 100 people in there that will tell you, oh, y'all do it every single day. Sandra just said that. Sandra just messaged me today about something. She said, why do I keep doing this? Let me take it to the big group because I should only bring things to you that are critical or personal. That are critical or personal. You see what I'm saying? Because it's one of me. It's over 100 of you that are actually plugged into me. And then there are not. That's just my first level. That's not um, awesome. She said, I feel so blessed that I'm the subject of your live today. I work three jobs and I'm in school full time and I do love these products and I'm dealing with, okay, I can't see the see more. Okay, you identified yourself. That's awesome. I'm glad you glad you joined because I've never seen you join a lot. And if you want to identify yourself, that's fine. Betty, you needed to hear this. Everybody needs to hear this. Now, about jobs, let me tell y'all something because you only know your story. You don't know everybody's story. Okay, look, both people on. This is amazing because I've had the hardest time getting in touch. So here's the deal. We got people on this team that have eight kids. We got people on this team that have six kids. We got people on this team that work three jobs. We have people on this team that are frontline workers. Jennifer Mustafa, Sandra Cadet. Like there was a lady last night on a training who is working seven days a week in the hospital she cannot leave the hospital cannot leave the hospital can't and she's crowded in a corner listening to training to plug in she hit director by herself with no help from anybody and she cannot leave the hospital she was on the line crying because she's like i need to get off of this job and this is what i'm willing to do here's the problem when people tell me it's not the fact that you have too much going on. It's the fact that you say to somebody, I can't be bothered with training because I have too much going on. And what you then in turn expect a person to do is come to you and give you, spoon feed you the information as if they don't have other people to care, as, as if I don't have a lot going on. So let's be clear on that. Everybody has a lot going on. There are people on this live that live real lives in their personal lives they're going through all types of hell there are people on my team that have had covid and survived it 
There are people on my team that are still going through it. There are people on my team that have multiple family members that have passed through this illness. There are people on my team that have had multiple deaths. There are people on my team that are in school. Brandy, I always bring up Brandy, sorry Brandy. But Brandy has eight kids. She's a wife. She works a job and she's in school. Everybody has a lot going on. So my point is this, and it's a very simple point. There's no reason for anybody to be offended. But if you are, then you need to go read the book, the five, the, the four agreements, and pay special attention to, don't take it personal. But I notice patterns in people. And there are some people who get things done no matter what. And there are some people who don't. There are some people who will admit when they're wrong. And there are some people who try to be wrong and strong. There are some people who will give you grace. And there are some people who will not. That's just the way it is. And I'm telling y'all right now, the majority of people that ask me the majority of questions on my team, they're asking questions that they don't know the answer to because they're not plugged in. And I'm not talking about like, Training is Saturday night, Sunday night at 8 o'clock, right? You might have something to do with Sunday night at 8 o'clock. Maybe you promise your family. Maybe that's when y'all have dinner time and that's a non-negotiable. I totally understand that. We're not one of the, these, we're not one of those teams that's like, you, now there are some teams like that. If you're not on training, that's it. You're out. If you're, if you're not 120, if you're not binary, if you're not... Uh, if you don't have three check marks in your back office, they don't even talk to you. And guess what? It's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Everybody has the right to do their business the way they want to do their business. However, we're not one of those groups. We give you grace because there's things going on. But to not watch the replay, to not pl plug into the big group, and to act as though one person can give you all their answers, that's highly inconsiderate. And to actually say, I don't have time for all this training. Well, then how are, how are you recruiting people? How are you going to build a business? We have people that don't have time for all this training right now. You know what they do? They lock their spot. They just, they just lock their spot so that they have their position in place. And then they go off and do their thing, right? And they get binary qualified so that their volume accumulates, right? And then they go off and they do their thing. And then when they have the time to plug in, they come in and they activate that spot. And now they start to get paid on stuff. But what they don't do is lock their spot, put a bunch of people in, don't answer any of your questions, but then expect you to answer all of their questions and then get like offended when you, when you say that's not how it's done. I don't know why you would join a team if you don't want to be a part of a team. I don't know why you would join a company if you don't want to be a part of a company. It's a very simple concept. And what I need everybody on my team to understand and the people who are watching that aren't even on my team because there are a lot of people who plug their team, I'm told, into everyone has other obligations. Oh, man, Lisa Davis got a gang of obligations. <laughs> she said everyone has other obligations. If you want to be a part of the team, you will make a it time. It's difficult at times. And if you want to win, you will build for yourself. This is an amazing team. Thank you, Lisa, because you have you haven't had an easy road at all. Oh, wow. Maybe today. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody got time today. Yeah, and I think that's awesome. Again, just because somebody makes a bad decision or makes a bad comment doesn't make them a bad person. I always keep that at the top of my mind. What do I say all the time? You have to love people. But at the same time, don't ever be anybody's fool because I got stuff going on. That's the amazing thing. I got stuff. Yesterday, three hours of sleep, had to drive an hour and a half to pick up my son. Because he was with his father. Then an hour and a half back. Everybody is going, hey, can I talk to you for real quick? Real, I love the real quick. Can I talk to you real quick? Real quick usually is about an hour. You know, quick is about two hours. You know what I'm saying? But I'm looking at these other teams who are getting stuff done. I'm looking at T Stormy's team. And these heifers going to two trainings a day minimum. They have Instagram lives back to back to back to back. And everybody's on top of everything. And then people look at that team and be like, how are they popping so many ranks? It's easy. They're plugged in. They're moving as a team. They're cohesive. And it's teachable and coachable. I had another person on my team tell me, Kim, it's not that I'm not teachable and coachable. It's just that I have a lot going on. Uh, translation, you're still not teachable and coachable. It doesn't matter if the reason is a good reason or not. The bottom line is, if you need to do something and you don't do that thing, you're not teachable and coachable. So just accept that lesson and move on. This profession is rooted in personal development and it's also rooted in teamwork. So, 
it's always going to be harder for you. And this is why it's so important for people to pay attention to who they choose. It's always going to be way harder for you to do what you want to do and to go where you want to go if you're not moving with the team that you join. Now, just for kicks, for my newbies on the line who are wondering what the, 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 the situation was, okay? It's not that people are selfish, actually. I don't think that people are selfish because, like I said, I actually spoke to one of the people. No, both of them. I actually spoke to one person in particular, and we had a great conversation. It's not that people are selfish. People think of things from their perspective at that point in time. Remember, we are emotional beings. So whatever we have going on in our lives right now, that balloons, that expands, that that is our world. So it's hard to see the picture when you're in the frame, right? So it's not that people are necessarily selfish, but people are emotional. So if right now, you know, I think about some of the things that's going on in my life, I wouldn't be able to serve my team. And when my team asked me certain things, I would pop, pop off because I'm in my emotions about my situation. I'm not a selfish person, but I'm, I am emotional in that moment. That's why I say when emotions go up, intelligence goes down. If you're in your feelings, you also can't get into your finances, right? So just for fun class, Victoria already answered the question. So the person who said, since they're tuned in, I do want them to get the answer. And I like to do a one-to-many communication, right? Instead of a one-on-one. -on -one. Because I'm only one person. There's only 24 hours in a day. If I talk to everybody one-on-one, -on -one, I my kid would petition the court to be, you know, released from my guardianship. <laughs> so, the answer to the, the question about why that person was not in the holding tank is this. You don't have... Okay, actually, y'all know I like for y'all to answer the question. How long do you have to move somebody from the holding tank, y'all? Can anybody tell me why that person had problems this morning, even though their holding tank was in, enabled? Why did they have problems um, moving the person? Why the person wasn't there? What's up, Instagram? Look at y'all. Can anybody tell me? I know there's a delay. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you, Sister V. Midnight. So, and guys, I want to be um, clear with you. Now, if you're not in my company, you, this is this part of the, the broadcast is going to be boring. <laughs> but let me explain something right quick, okay? Um, why did you say sorry? I don't know what you, why you said sorry, Sister B. Yeah, you need to move them that same day. Let me be very clear on this, guys. Um, you need to move them that same day. And if you do not move them, the system will move them for you. And if the system moves them incorrectly, then you have to move them. You have how long to move them to send an email so that they can be moved. How long do you, if, if, if you don't move them in that time, oh, don't worry about it. If you don't move them in that time, how long do you have to contact the uh, customer service so that the system can move them for you? I like Nisha's answer the best. She said 24 hours, but technically it's 72 hours, right? But I like 24 hours. Let me tell y'all something. Let me be very clear because somebody was like, well, I thought you had 72 hours to move them out of the holding tank. This is why training is important, by the way. Ding, 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 ding. This is why training is important. Ding, 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 ding. The reason why you only have until midnight of that day to move a person from the holding tank class is because this. That person represents volume. If that person came into your organization, they bought three, four, five products, that five products could be worth 200 points to the whole entire team. Lisa, that's the right answer. Lisa said, I don't wait. I'm on it ASAP. That's my girl. <laughs> that's my dog. <laughs> that's my dog. Okay, y'all, stop thinking of these people as people. Well, yes. No. Okay. No, they are people. Think of them as people, but also understand that these people represent volume so if you got somebody that bought five products then that's like um that's 200 points if y'all had forever in a day to move them from the holding tank then you have you would have guess what because people like to procrastinate and wait you would have all these people in the holding tank and that represents literally hundreds of thousands of points you got to realize that what you do affects your whole entire team 
So customer service, TLC has said that you only have until midnight to place that person because they need to know where and think about it. You, the decision is only left or right, <laughs> right? Those are your only two options. So this is not a hard decision. What you should be doing is looking at your pay leg and placing them somewhere within your pay leg, hopefully on the pay leg of somebody else so that you get two for the price of one. If you're in training, then you know what I mean, right? You should be looking at your pay leg and placing them somewhere on your pay leg. What's your pay leg? I don't know because everybody's pay leg is different, right? You got to know how to analyze the pay leg so that you know where to place them. Hence the reason for training. Hence the reason for the videos. Um, I didn't know the person signed up until I saw it this morning. It did not notify me like it did with others because the system is behind. But see, that's we're talking about that a lot on training. The system right now is extremely behind. Our company has a very skeletal staff right now. We're not working with the regular crew. A lot of people are working from home. The infrastructure at home is not the same at corporate. We've been talking about this on training. Now, and I'm happy you're interacting and putting this stuff up. Because this is a time for us to clear up a lot of stuff, right? Here's the thing about your girl. I do empathize with y'all because y'all do have a lot going on. And I want to do my best to help you. That's why even if you're not on training, we always make the re replay a video, re the replay available. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's long, though. It's long. So that's why your girl also says, um, that's why your girl, uh, you said you checked before you went to bed. Nothing. It may be that you don't know where to check, though. I promise you that. It may be that you don't know where to check. You see, but the thing about your girl is even if you can't get on training, I cut bite sized videos about specific topics so that you, you don't get lost in the sauce with the thing. It's a lot. Yes, it is a lot. But the payoff is huge. If you get this, the payoff is huge. If you get this, the check matches are insane. The, the binary is insane. The payoff is huge. If you get this. So let me tell you right now. Going back to the answer, and we're getting really, really deep into this. But going back to the, the, the answer to the question, you only have till midnight. Yeah, they show up in your back office immediately. But those emails, you best to not wait on no emails. Oh, not in this day and age. Oh, no, baby. This is how I take my supplements because I'm like a kid, y'all. I can't be swallowing no pills. Some of y'all, y'all got some gangster esophaguses. What is it, esophagi? I don't know. Anywho, your person that you sign up represents volume to the whole entire team. So let's say I sign up somebody and I decide to place them on my right. Guess what? Everybody on my right just had, if that person bought five products, everybody on my right just got 200 points in volume. Hey, 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 hey. Now, if I sign up, guess what? If somebody that I sign up on my right also signs up another person and they put them on the right, right? Everybody on the right, their volume just went up all those points too. So people have to be placed quickly because those people represent volume. And you have teammates. Even if you're not running, you have teammates that are running. They need to know how many points they need by close of, mid, of, of, of business Thursday to hit their goal. And a lot of people, y'all, these people are laser intense. They are laser focused on building this business, many of them. And if they know they want to hit this rank or they know they want that dollar amount, they want this money, much money out of the binary. They are tracking their points every single day, every single day. So the company can't have you just holding people in the holding tape, caressing them, loving them down, right? Nurturing them. And please, nobody think that I'm saying this about, this is just, this is just my delivery style, right? I'm saying this to everybody, to the whole entire world of TLC, okay? You can't just be incubating people in the holding tape caressing them massaging them with emu oil no they got to go <laughs> they got to get up they got to get up i don't care if you go on the left or right but you got to get up out of here <laughs> okay they got to go now once you place them now your team know knows what they're working with there are some people on my team that i never talk to because they never talk to me there are some people that i talk to every single day because they're, they're sending me their points because they're letting me know how on track they are to their goal because they're letting me know how things what, what, what are they working with 
right? And those people need concrete answers. So that's why people can't stay in the holding tank. Now, if you miss your opportunity to place a person from the holding tank, uh, you guys already answered this. You only have 72 hours to send that email to customer service. That email needs to be very clear. It needs to tell them exactly what you want to do. That email needs to have all of the specifics because customer service is not playing with you. That person, if they are not... Um, and that does not mean they will place them within 72 hours. That just means that's when the email needs to be sent, right? Now, we learned this weekend that yeah, I told y'all wrong. <laughs> Don't send emails over and over again. That doesn't help you. That only hurts you, right? Because the when you send the same email over and over again, they're going to timestamp it as of the last email, which will push you back in the queue. So, sorry about that. Again. <laughs> As long as I've been here, and guys, we've never seen growth like this. We haven't seen growth like this in years, in years. So every single day, something new comes out. And even myself, five years in the company, I'm still learning stuff. But this weekend on training, dead tired, high on my emotions, high on my emotions because, you know, just being, can I be, can I be transparent? The word that everybody likes to use nowadays, can I be transparent? You know, that whole co-parenting mcdonald's parking lot situation thing i got going on with my ex-husband not exactly the most fun for me on the weekend gets me in my feelings a little bit gets me in my uh, get you know i'm in the front of the roller coaster emotional roller coaster at times right i'm in the, i'm in the front seat Woo! <laughs> oh and then you know it helps that i have a whole hour and a half to ruminate on crap so despite all that i was still on training this weekend i've heard some people tell me they weren't on training because they weren't driving i don't know what that has to do with anything but okay um they weren't on training because just some really weird stuff uh you're not giving the training you just have to be on there so yeah um, anyway, I went around the world in 90 days, in 90 minutes on this broadcast. Sorry about that. But y'all were giving me energy, and I actually had some engagement. Yep, I think it's cool. Thank you for sharing. Hey, Deneen, what's going on, girly? I just realized that was you. My ring light is, you see it in my eyes? Do you see my ring light in my eyes? You should see everything in my eye. But anyway, um, guys, listen, I love this profession. I love helping people. I don't mind helping people. And let me be clear on this too. Because sometimes y'all be taking stuff and running with it. And I'll be like, that's not what I said. That's not what I meant. When I say, how do you know when to cut somebody off? It doesn't mean cut them off forever. See? I am here with open arms. Oh, I am here with open arms whenever you want to plug in. It's just that to keep my son from hating me. And who knows? He'll probably still end up in therapy in 20 years. Who knows? Who knows? Hopefully not. I'm going to do my best. But to keep my son from hating me and to keep it so that I can actually have time to wash, to eat, to sleep, to do things that normal people do, to make it so that I can actually plug into these courses that I bought to help my team put some more automation in our business so that we can go further faster, to make it so that, you know, I, I, I don't go crazy in this business and, and you should do the same thing. To, to do that, I've got to really pay attention to who I should spend my time with. And the people that I spend my time with most are the people that it's not that they have the most time. It's not that they make the most money. It's the people who basically are the most respectful of my time and the most open to having a mutually beneficial relationship with me as it relates to levels of respect and understanding, well, getting an understanding with this business. Let me be very clear with you. I have bumped heads with a plenty of people on my team. Plenty! Too many to count! <laughs> I am a professional pisser offer. <laughs> However, I don't do it on purpose. It just comes naturally. It's just a gift from God. I'm not trying to take people off. It's just that we're two separate people, right? And because we are two separate people, we're going to have two different ways of thinking about things. So now I will tell you this. I strive every single day to become better at communication. Every day. I promise you that. Because communication is so key. So many things get lost in translation, right? And again, oftentimes it's because a person will hear your message based on their what they're feeling at the time. They'll hear your message based on what they are feeling at the time. 
I'm guilty of it. We all are. However, guys, um, you know, I'm so proud of the team members who have received the message in the way that I intended it. Even if my delivery was not the best, right? I'm so proud of my team members who said, you know what? Like Sandra, like Miss Q, like J-Baby, like Candy B. <laughs> All these people I've bumped heads with, okay? Because they have their life, I have my life. They got crap going on, mental mess. I got crap going on, mental mess. So sometimes when the two can fly, baby, baby. <laughs> and it's not just like that with my team. It's like that with every team. It's like that in life. Some of y'all have family members that you haven't spoken to for years because of a misunderstanding. So what this profession teaches us to do is it, it forces us to become higher versions of ourselves. It first forces us to become better communicators, better everything if you do it right. Does it take time? Man, it takes so much dang on time. It takes so much dang on time, but it's worth it. But it's worth it. And I always say, I don't care about bumping heads with somebody. I could care less. I know, I know by now, I'm, I'm grown and rusty. 40 years old, I'm grown and rusty. I know by now that's inevitable, okay? If you and I haven't had a misunderstanding, chances are it's coming. <laughs> Chances are it's coming. And that's not something I'm scared of. It's just something that, you know, um, it's inevitable. We're two different people, right? And that's not a business thing. That's that's a life thing. All right? So all, we, all we're doing, guys, and you, when you cut somebody off, all we're doing is we're learning how to become better people. And we're learning how to spend, um, you're supposed to be unapologetic uh, at times, at times. But I just know that as a leader, you have to pay attention to those who pay attention to you. That's going to be the best use of your time. And um, as a person in life in general, you have to pay attention to those who pay attention to you. You know, I don't call back friends. I don't, I don't give my time to friends who are not there for me in my time of need. I don't give my time to friends who only have, make time for me when, it's, when they need me. I don't do that. Mm -mm. I've never had a relationship where somebody is taking more than they've given from me. No, nah, playing. <laughs> you got me all the way twisted. And even my family members love them dearly, but they know uh, not Kimmy. <laughs> they know. They know. How you do anything is how you do everything. If it's one thing, I, I promise you, I am very consistent. If I like you, I like you. If I love you, I love you. But I can love you and not like you. Because of how you maneuver in that season. And I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm never going to hurt you. But I, I ain't got time for that. Now, once you get back on the good foot, right? And we reach an understanding, man, we'll be rocking and rolling, right? We'll be like the double Dutch ten, twins, all in sync, right? Hey, 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 hey. And it'll be wonderful. It'll be wonderful. But if somebody can't receive the message that you're giving them, if, if they have so much going on that, you know, it's going to be too difficult to get through with them, then you're just wasting your time anyway. I have some family members that no matter how much I try to tell them, please don't say these things that speak death to you, that, you know, please don't say this or don't do that you're making it harder for yourself and they're like i know but i know but i know but i gotta cut them off so now i'm just like yeah girl hey i'll talk to you later okay gotta go take care of something over here i don't even spend time i don't even spend time anymore trying to help them to understand how they self-sabotage because i know that what i'm saying there's none so none so blind as he who will not see once i once i once you communicate to me that my words are falling on deaf ears Oh, baby, you ain't got to worry about it no more. I'm good. That's how I keep from going crazy, y'all. <laughs> I know some of y'all like, girl, you are crazy, though. Well, yeah, somewhat. But that's how I keep from going fully. You know, 100%. 100%. All right, guys. So I've, I've used up enough of your time. I always say this is going to be a, a quick broadcast. And I always lie. So hopefully, you know by now. That, you know, it's not true when I say that. <laughs> and, you don't, and you no longer expect me to do quick broadcasts. I'm going to work on it. Being more succinct. I'm going to work on it. We'll see what happens. Right? Yeah. Um. Never on deaf ears. Man, Kelly. Kelly and Janelle, y'all. Aren't we learning something with this director's challenge, though? These huffers are plugged in. It's no 
It's not a mystery anymore why that team has the momentum. It's not a mystery anymore why that team is popping rings, comma checks every week, taking regular schmegular people, some people who make six figures, some people who make minimum wage and having their lives totally change. Let me tell y'all something in case y'all don't know. This company is called Total Life Changes, not Total Life Changes. You can't do the same thing and get different results. It's Total Life Changes, not Total Life Changes. Okay, stop telling me you don't want to change. You got to go if you don't want to change. <laughs> hmm. Finally finished. Finally finished. I'm like a little kid, I swear. Are y'all proud of me? Hmm. <laughs> All right, y'all. I got stuff to do. Brandy, I'm happy we rescheduled that Zoom because it worked out. I got to record something. My mommy has to do a video, so I'm going to be the videographer <laughs> you like that total life same changes not total life changes i gotta tell y'all something and let me tell y'all something um i am going to end this broadcast this is not going to be a marathon broadcast but once i say something i'm done with it you cannot harbor resentment people are doing the best they can with what they have people are doing the best they can with what they have so if you if you hope to build a team you can't still be mad at somebody first of all you shouldn't be mad at people because they're doing unless they like come for you now that's if you come for me then i'm gonna get my victor newman on <laughs> i'm gonna get my i'm gonna get my victor newman on now y'all know what it means when southern people clap on every syllable right but if you come for me rest assured i'm ready but the majority of people are are nice and they have stuff um, going on in their lives of which you don't know. Most people try to put their best foot forward. And it's not until you reach an impasse with somebody and you, and you, you know, things don't work out right that they be like, I'm sorry, it's just that. And then they verbally vomit on you. And you're like, girl, why you didn't tell me that a long time ago? I just thought you were inconsiderate. <laughs> you know? Um, so the majority of people in this world are, are good people. Do they make bad decisions? Yes. Do I make bad decisions? Man, all the time. All the time. But um, the majority of people are good. But you have to learn to love people. And you also have to realize that people are at different places in their personal development. Different places in their growth. And um, there are things that have happened in their, life, their lives that lead them to behave a certain way. And all of us, you know, like this, this universe, God, everything is perfectly orchestrated to help you go through some horrible things in your life and it's also perfectly orchestrated to help you meet some wonderful people and go through some wonderful times in your life so that the the unison of that that yin and yang that that bad time and good time it is it's all designed to help you become a better person if you will allow it to so when you keep that in mind the majority of people are good people i am to love people you know again I don't I don't share people's names unless they unless they reveal themselves um cuz it's not about who it is it's about the larger concept hey this is how I this is what my team cuz I want my team to understand as they're building a team you got to know who to give your attention to and you got to pay attention to what people are saying not just what they say and you cannot be afraid of conflict some of y'all are not going to succeed until you get comfortable with conflict conflict inherently has a negative connotation but it doesn't have to okay it doesn't have to there's nothing wrong with conflict it just means that two things are not in unison they're not in harmony so that's what you're paid to do buttercup suck it up buttercup that's what you're paid to do you're paid to take something that is not cohesive and make it cohesive but for that to happen the two entities have to make, have to want it to happen you and the other person have to want it to happen. You can only do your part. You can't do their part. So until they're ready to do their part, you have to cut them off. Okay? Not forever. Because some of y'all be going crazy with the lessons. I cut them off, Kim. I'm like, wait, wait. Not that one. That's not what I meant, sis. <laughs> hmm. Anywho, y'all just got that notification, total life changes, sample training. So guys, there you have it. When to you can't do you can't do that part. Yeah, you can't do that part. You can never you can never 
It takes two. Y'all remember that song? It takes two to make a thing go right. Oh, yeah. I need a DJ for my Facebook line. It takes two to make it out of sight. Oh, yeah. Hey, I want to rock right now. I'm Rob Bass and I came to get down. I'm not internationally known, but I'm known to rock a microphone because I get stupid. I mean, outrageous. Stay away from me if you're contagious. Because I'm a no man. No, not a loser. BMSC is what I choose to <laughs> <laughs> but it does take two, y'all. All right? And if, <laughs> Lisa, shut up. Leave me alone. She said, oh, Lord. <laughs> y'all ain't knew I had them skills. And you also have to have fun in your business, guys. Don't stay in that state of, don't get mad at people. Mad is such a low vibration, low frequency emotion. There's so much that goes into this business, but most of it is mental. The mechanics you can work on. <laughs> you like that, Denise? Girl, I'm out of breath. I gotta work on my cardio. <laughs> anyway, let me get off this broadcast. I always say it's gonna be real quick. I hope y'all found value in this. When building your team, um, I'm learning so much from Natalie Nicole right now. I really appreciate her and her servant leadership. And just, you know, she's talk, she talked about last night how a lot of people on her team, um, you know, talk bad about her because they're like, oh, she didn't call me back or she kicked me out of the group. And she was just saying, you know, the frequency that they were on, she couldn't even help them if she want, you know, she wanted to help them, but the frequency that they were on wouldn't allow her help. She couldn't get into them. So there was no reason for them to even be in her presence, so to speak. I don't want to misquote her, but basically that's what she was saying. And y'all got to pay attention to that, okay? You can only help somebody as, as much as they will allow you to. You can only love somebody. It, again, this is a universal thing. I hate to not, add, but I want y'all to get this. If you're in a relationship even, you can only allow somebody as much as, you can only love somebody as much as they, as much as they will allow you to. You can say, I'm giving him my all, and he still treats me back. Sis, sis, that's a clue. Pay attention to the clues that people give you because they're giving you clues all the time. But there's none so blind as he who will not see. That's why you ain't, let me tell you something. God gave me big eyes for a reason. I'm seeing, I'm seeing what y'all doing to me. Horny. All right, I feel like this turban gives me powers. All right, let me go, man. I can't be fooling up with y'all all day long. I got to shoot this video for mom. <sighs> all right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Let me know about your situations. Do you have any questions about, you know, team building? Again, I am a leader of my team, but I have plenty of other leaders on my team. I'm very open to what they have to say to me. And I already know conflict is inevitable. All I, all I can do is work on my communication and keep doing the best I can to serve the big team and make myself available to the most people as, as much as possible. And that requires me to pay attention to the, the clues and the cues that people are giving me constantly. Sheena Smith said, this was so good. Thank you, sis. I appreciate you, girl. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm also a student. I'm a perpetual student. So I'm open to learning from people, people that have the results that I desire and um, people that I admire. And I'm paying attention to the people in my company and in my profession and in business in general. And how they maneuver. How who, who do they spend time with? How do they filter? What is their filtering process? Constantly I'm paying attention to that. And I need everybody on my team because I don't want y'all to go crazy. I need, hey, what's up, Red Light Supreme? <laughs> One day I'm going to ask you about that name. <laughs> what's up, girly? Um, but... I want my team to not go crazy. This profession is one of the most enjoyable things I've done. It does take a lot of time, but it's worth it. And the impact that we have and the incomes that we are helping people to create, unparalleled. I've never seen anything like it in my life, but it does require a very high level of skill sets. So be committed to developing the skills, guys, and I promise you, you will reap the rewards, okay? Mm. Y'all drinking y'all water? All right. I'll talk to y'all later. If you on Instagram, if you're on IG, then follow me. If you're on Facebook, hit follow C first before you leave. On YouTube, hit subscribe and bang the bell to the right thing down. So every time I upload a new video, you be the first to know. All right, let's see if we can get cut it back. Yeah, my son got to hurry up and grow so he can be my DJ. Can we get cut it back? Hey, let's see if my country internet. I think I do. 
Oh, it's cycling. Yolanda said, thank you. No problem. Thank y'all for tuning in. I knew this was super duper long. Watch it come on as soon as I end the broadcast. Mm. Anywho, we got a lot of trainings today, y'all. So, <laughs> see some of y'all on training. And again, if you're on my team, it's not that I will not help you, but I do ask if it's not critical or personal, put it in the big group. And there's so many people that are extremely knowledgeable that will help you and direct you to a video that will give you a full understanding of stuff so that you're working smarter, not harder. Because I don't want y'all recruiting people and then having them go to the wrong side and not know how to fix it. That's how people end up quitting the business early too, y'all. If you don't plug in and then you want to ask one-on-one -on -one questions, and there's only going to be so so much that a person can give you one-on-one. -on -one. And then after a while, you'll feel like, oh, they, they used to answer my questions. Now they don't. Now they don't want to support me. And now you quit the business because you've recruited like five people, but they all went to one side and you didn't know how to move them in time. And now you're super duper frustrated. So you're like, ah, just forget it. This business doesn't work. And people lie to you to get you on your team no no not necessarily sis not necessarily bro but you gotta you gotta plug in uh oh somebody getting in trouble oh lord all right let me go rescue my son <laughs> i'll talk to y'all later bye